Yeah. What, what is it? Nothing, man. Just seeing if you're all right. You ain't said nothing since you sat out. Oh, you want me to say something? All right, I'll say something. Is that what you call blending in? What do you call it? I call it sticking out, not fitting in, looking like an idiot. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, look at us. Look at us, too. We're wearing running gear, all right? This is the official shoe of the Jamaican relay team. This watch tells your heart rate, all right, while you're jogging. I'm a jogger, man. I fit in. I don't know what you're doing. First of all, those things look like clown shoes. Your jogging gear still has a fucking sales tag on it. And seeing as how we've been sitting here for the last two hours, I say that watch is about as useless as you are. Listen, man, I appreciate you. Appreciate you doing this assignment with me, you know? I haven't been out much lately, and I know sometimes I can go overboard, but I can still do my job. But besides, man, look, we don't have to go running after this guy. He's going to come by here any minute now. We'll just do the deal then. And these shoes are cool. By the way, yeah, all the young kids are wearing them. They come in all different colors and flavors. You can actually lick these shoes. You know you man, want to Look, pay. man, look, <laughs> look, look. I'm, I'm real sorry. I just I got a lot on my mind right now. It's that girl, ain't it? You haven't told anybody about her, have you? Nah, 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 nah. Besides, if I did, you probably would have known already. I know, I know, I just... Things with her have been getting complicated. You know, she's been asking a lot of questions lately. Questions? About me, about my, my life. OK, and what have you told her? Nothing. I, I haven't told her anything. Dude, look. I told you not to get too close, man. What was I supposed to do, huh? I mean, she told me she just wanted to know me. So I told her what she wanted to hear. OK, so what, what do you want to know? How about we start off small? Tell me about your parents. Well, they're like normal parents. Nothing really exciting. I, you know, I, I grew up in a, a normal, normal middle class neighborhood. You know, the kind with the white picket fences, green grass, friendly neighbors. You know, normal. My mom, and my mom, she was, she was beautiful. She was hardworking, doing jobs whenever she could to make ends meet. My father used to tell me how beautiful he thought my mother was when he first saw her. <laughs> yeah, mom was really taken by dad, too. You want a date, baby? My mom was so focused on work, dad almost lost her. Look, sweetie, if you're not dating, I gotta go. What'd he do? What is this for? My, um, my mom died when I was younger. My dad raised me. I'm sorry. But that's a beautiful story your father told you. It's very romantic. <laughs> she actually believed that story, man. She must love you. All right, you ready? What the hell is this guy, man? Attention. <laughs> I just had a lot on my mind. I'm your friend. You can tell me what's wrong. Mike? Who the hell is Mike? He's this guy I've been seeing. You've been seeing some guy and you didn't tell me? I'm hurt. It's not like that. It just kind of happened, you know? No big deal. 
At least it started out that way. So what is it now? Are you in love with him? No. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> Seems like you're sure to me. So what's the problem? I don't know. It's just... Sometimes I feel like he's hiding something from me. Go on. Like this morning, for example. He did something I didn't think he would do. What did he do? He would jog it. Where are you going? I was just for a little run. Oh, cool. I'll come with. Let no. Me... I mean, I'm going with my brother. You know, just some guy time. You've never mentioned you had a brother. I didn't? No. Oh. Well, I guess it never came up. But this is something we do all the time. You understand, right? Yeah. Okay. Michael. Yeah. There's a tag. <sighs> Dump him. He's obviously cheating, and he's a really bad liar. I know. I thought he was cheating too, so I went through his stuff. So what did you find? Nothing really, just stuff. Except I found this paper with someone's name on it. And there was a time with today's date next to it. And he went away last week and I found his passport and it was stamped to the Bahamas. He told me he was at a conference in Texas. Why would he lie? I think you need to leave him alone now. There's too much that doesn't add up. It's not worth it, and I don't want you to get hurt. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Maybe. So what have you been doing all day? Nothing much. I went to lunch with Trish. Did you move my bag? Yeah. I was cleaning earlier and it was in my way. You don't mind, do you? No, of course not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head into the shower. Wait. How was jogging with your brother? It was fine. No big deal. Did anyone else come? What do you mean? When I moved your bag, this fell out. I thought maybe you had some friends meeting you. The reason I didn't want you to come today is because I wasn't just going jogging. My brother and I had a job to do. I understand. What kind of job? All right, here you come. Get ready, man. All right, look. I'll do the talking. Just relax. Cool. You, you know, I, I work for my father. And this guy on the paper has been doing business with him. And we've been negotiating a, a merger for some time now. And lately, things haven't been going well. So my dad thought it would be better if we did some negotiations outside the boardroom. You know, somewhere where, where he would be more comfortable. Pardon me, can I have a moment of your time? I don't know you, son. But I know you, Mr. Lewis. In fact, you know my father. You did the Heathrow deal with him. I've heard enough. No, I think it's smarter that you stay. No, 
we're not here to hurt you. We just want to talk. So did he accept your offer? I've made my decision. It's final, OK? You can tell your father that. We're just here to renegotiate, that's all. I've heard enough. It was tough, but you got our point. Forgive me? Of course I do. But don't you ever lie to me again. Promise? Like, I promise I will never lie to you again. Nine-year-old Metro girl has a new lease on life thanks to surgery at the hospital for sick children. Police in Brooklyn today are stunned by the brutal midday murder of the owner of one of New York's top brokerage firms. He was shot dead as he went on what police are calling a routine jog. Witnesses say two men were seen arguing with the man before he died. Police are looking for these men for questioning. They're asking the public for help. Do you have a gun? Oh, this. I, I can explain. <laughs> okay, I can explain. Calm down. Just calm down. Okay, please, please, just don't kill me. What? <laughs> Look, I can never hurt you. I love you too much to hurt you. Truth is, I can't believe I'm going to tell you this. The truth is, I'm a hitman. I kill people for a living. There's a group of us, we call ourselves the sons. We only work for a group of men who we call the fathers. I swear to you, we only kill people who deserve it. So you told me you wanted to know me. There it is. You didn't expect me to believe this bullshit? It's the truth. Did you kill that man today? Yes. And when you went to the Bahamas, even though you said you were going to Texas, what did you do there? I killed people, a lot of them. <laughs> Give me one good fucking reason I shouldn't blow your head off right now. 
because you love me. And I love you. I do love you. More than I've ever loved any other man, but if you're lying to me, how can I be with a man who lies? And if you're telling the truth, then I'm gonna die. They're gonna come after me. Nobody's gonna find out. There's only one person who knows, and he's a very good friend. No one's gonna touch you. Now put the gun down so we can figure this out. And we can be together. No more secrets, no more lies. Why did you, why did you do that? I didn't do that, you did that. Look, what did I say to you? I said, leave her alone, right? I said, don't tell her anything about us, but you, you. Look, man, if you had any idea how to lie, she would be alive right now. And now we gotta go. I'm not going anywhere with you. Okay, so after all this time, this is what you want. My life is over for me. Suit yourself. You said we were friends. Brothers. You know what the truth is? I lied. <laughs> I'm still